Hey guys, so I'm going to be reading to you today Proverbs chapter 2. I'm going to read a portion of it to you. Proverbs chapter 2, and I'm going to start at verse 10. And it says, When wisdom entereth into thine heart, and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul, discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee, to deliver thee from the way of the evil man, from the man that speaketh forward things, who leave the path of uprightness to walk in the paths of darkness, who rejoice to do evil and delight in the frowardness of the wicked, whose ways are crooked and they forward in their paths, to deliver thee from the strange woman, even from the stranger which flattereth with her words, which forsaketh the guide of her youth and forgetteth the covenant of her God. For her house inclineth unto death, and her paths unto the dead. None that go unto her return again, neither take they hold of the paths of life. Okay? Wisdom is key. There is a wisdom, there's an earthly wisdom, and it talks about that in James chapter 3, I believe. There's an earthly wisdom that is just carnal. It is not the wisdom of God. A lot of people, you are wise according to this world. You are wise according to the standards, the things that has been set. You know, there are things that has been, you know, you've learned things growing up, your culture, your background, and your religion. And there is also what society and this world considers to be the norms and so you follow those things you follow this path carefully of I go to school I complete you know high school I go to college I complete high college I get an education maybe I get married I get the perfect job I have perfect credit I have the perfect husband and wife we get a, a, a picket fence we have children we get a nice car we live happily ever after that is the wisdom of the world. And while some of those things are indeed needed to include our education and things of that nature, what you need to do is to always approach each and every one of those things using the wisdom of God. God's wisdom, God's knowledge, God's understanding is way above our own. And it will really keep you when you, first of all, the word of God says, the fear of the Lord, the beginning of knowledge is to fear the Lord. OK, so you need the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. So the fear of the Lord is not cowardly, shaking in your boot, terrified, but it all it just means you choose to obey. You choose to live right. You you have reverence for the Lord. You follow his ways. It's the beginning of knowledge. And when you get knowledge, you get understanding and discretion and wisdom. And you will know how to apply these things in different areas of your life. This thing will keep you from evil man. The man who is forward, forward simply means a person who is deliberately contrary they just live to go in the opposite direction of everything they enjoy evil they enjoy doing wrong you know what i mean um you know i always say it's talking about men in general here to deliver you from the evil man but sometimes when i look at proverbs chapter 2 and i see from verse 10 down to 20 it talks about the man and then it also goes into it keeps you from the strange woman so i'm going to say even in this case ladies you, when you use wisdom in the discretions of God, it will keep you from the evil man. It's going to keep you from a man who means you no good. You're going to be able to move yourself from your path by listening to the voice of the Lord. And also, men, it will keep you, and in general, keep us from evil men, people who do certain things, who are just bent on just being wrong and strong and just evil. That's going to do that too. Um, that is what discretion and understanding and knowledge will give you. And brothers, it's going to keep you from that strange woman that flattereth with her lips. If you look through the book of Proverbs, if you've never read it, you are missing out. Please read the book of Proverbs. It's awesome. I like to read the King James Version because it's undiluted even though we know it's actually been translated from other things to, into king james but the king james is the most authentic okay but if you have another uh 
type that is easier for you to read, do that. But I always say, try to look up the King James. Even if you don't have an actual Bible, which I always encourage people to get an actual Bible, but I will say, look up the King James version online. If you don't have a Bible and if you just have like a contemporary and you will see the depths of, 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 of what the word is saying, but men is also going to keep you from the evil woman, the woman who flattereth with her tongue, the strange woman. She flatters with her words. She knows what to say to you. So we know everything begins a downfall, every affair, every indiscretion always begins with a conversation, just like it began with a conversation when, the devil came to Eve and spoke to her. The same conversation that Adam allowed Eve to have with him. Your conversation with these strange women is going to be your downfall. Just be, And it's not just for a married man, single man. There's plenty of strange women. Y'all, y'all deal with stuff a lot more than women because there's so much sex and so much out there specifically for men. And that's because the men have a specific role. And so if we can bring down the head, if we can bring down the man, if we can bring down the strength, then the enemy can easily get into you. The enemy can keep you from being that man that you need to be. So what it does, it begins with a conversation. When you have discretion, you have discretion and discernment and knowledge and wisdom to know, hey, this conversation don't need to be happening. Nah, no matter how innocent this look, this should not be. You will not bring things into your home, into your marriage, into your beds. That should not be. It will keep you from the strange woman. That's what wisdom does. Wisdom will also cause you to make sound decision. Wisdom will cause you to understand how to do everything in your life from how to do things on your job, what you need to do, what type of job to pick, what sort of decisions you need to make, whether you go left or right. Yes, whether you go left or right. That is the beauty of the knowledge of God. It can be used in every instance. It should be used in every instance in your life. There have been... I think I talked about this before, a very popular preacher that I heard him one time say, God don't care about this or that. You don't have to, people talking about, oh, I talked to God and I spoke to God about this and this. And he was kind of mocking and saying how that's crazy that you can, you don't need to talk to God that much. And God don't want to hear this and God don't want to hear that, you know, and I'm just like, you know what? That's not true. I'm like, that's not true. Maybe you've gotten too great and you've reached a place in your life that you don't feel like you need to talk to God about everything. But every time, everyone, don't wait for tragedy. Don't wait for downfalls and things to happen that you want to hear from God. God wants to be in everything and every decision in your life. There's no such thing as talking to God too much. There's no such thing as consulting God too much. God has numbered the hairs on your head. God knows when a bird has fallen out of its nest onto the ground. It's in the word of God. God feeds the animals. God feeds the bird. If he cares about that, he cares about everything regarding you. Stop just going off of common sense. Now, sometimes I'll say, you don't need to ask God, God, should I take the trash out? But you know what? Sometimes maybe you're getting ready to take the trash out or maybe you're getting ready to go somewhere and you feel a check in your spirit that maybe you shouldn't do it. And sometimes that's because if you go out there at that particular time, you're going to run into some type of danger. But what I'm saying, guys, seek God's wisdom. The world's wisdom is complete garbage to the Lord. This system, this way that we function It's completely out of the knowledge. It's completely below God's knowledge. So while you must follow the laws of the land and obey your governments and the law of the land, you do those things. What you have to do is, well, obey your government for the most part. But you know, sometimes if it goes against your religion and things like that, you know, uh, we're supposed to be able to have the freedom of our religion. But let me get back on this. All I'm telling you is this. Follow the Lord in everything. Follow the Lord in every decision you make. Seek God before you get into a relationship. Seek God before you take a job. Seek God before you join a church. Seek God before you take any positions within a church. Seek God in how to deal with your children. Seek God in how to do your homework. Seek God in how to study. Seek God in how to do your hair. Seek God in certain things to put on and not put on. Seek God in where to live. Seek God in what job opportunities you should take and certain things that you should pass on by. 
Seek the Lord in everything. Trust in the Lord and all, with all your hearts and lean not unto your own understanding. That means never. In all your ways, every way, every single way, academically, socially, intimately, in relationships, everything, acknowledge him and he'll direct your path. You will not go wrong in putting God in everything, guys, in every single thing. Get into his word. Listen to him. Hear his voice. Learn how to hear his voice. Pray to him. Go to him and he will direct your path. Now, guys, y'all been watching my videos. I've been putting them out there. I don't say this all the time. If you have been blessed by this, don't keep it to yourself. Like it, share it, subscribe, keep it moving. Keep the word, pass it on because I can tell you how many times that I have gone on Facebook or I've gone on YouTube and someone shared a video that absolutely blessed me, whether it just gave me joy, whether I came to tears because there was something in it that gave me a breakthrough or a release. So let's not keep it to ourselves. Please share these videos. Please subscribe. Send these things out there and like it. Let me know how you're thinking. Put comments below and I will answer you as best as I can. Just remember this. God's wisdom is way above anything that you and I can try to put together. Get to know him. Follow his path and you will see how much better your life will be. Bye-bye.